Medicare has a lot of different options. The first one is going to be the original Medicare parts A and B, and then you're going to need to supplement your part D plan, which is your prescription drug plan. Another option is a true Medicare supplement, which covers portions of the original Medicare that isn't already um, covered. So any of your deductibles, any of your copays, stuff like that for Medicare A and B, you're going to um, be supplemented with your true Medicare supplement. With that, you still need um, your Part D, which is a prescription drug plan, or another option is going to be a Medicare Advantage plan. And this is your all-in-one prescription drug health coverage. And this takes place of your Medicare Part A and B. Um, the Medicare Advantage plans, they have a lot of extra benefits, um, but they do have your copays and deductibles. So going through the two options or the three options with an agent is really important because there are so many different scenarios and hopefully in this video we're going to go through all the common questions and get you some answers. Question number one, I'm disabled, can I get on Medicare? So typically after 24 months of Social Security disability then you'll become eligible for Medicare. Question number two, do I have to get a prescription drug plan? Even if I'm healthy, um, what are the options? So the answer is no, you don't have to get a prescription drug plan. However, if you don't, you are gonna be subject to a penalty. And Medicare calculates this penalty by taking 1% of the national average and then multiplying by how many months that you don't have prescription drug coverage. So I always recommend go in, see an agent, you're going to go over all of your prescription drugs and then see what plan is best for you. Question number three is how do I choose the right um, prescription drug plan for me? So when I talk to people, there's three different things that you're gonna wanna look at. Number one's gonna be the premium and premium is gonna be your monthly cost. And number two is going to be the deductible. Deductibles are something that you're gonna pay out of pocket before your prescription drug plan kicks in. And some prescription drug plans don't have that. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you know what the deductible is, if there is any. And then number three is gonna be your copays. So with each prescription that you're on, there's gonna be a copay. And this can get complicated because each prescription drug is based on a tier. So there's tiers one through five, um, and the copays are different for each one. So it's very important that you understand what your plan all entails. And question number four, does my Medicare policy include dental or vision? So with a lot of policies, they are built in, but you wanna make sure you know which plans they are, and what kind of coverage you're looking for. So when you sit down with your agent, make sure you know um, what you're signing up for, does it include it, and make sure the agent knows that that's something that you're interested in. Because even if your policy doesn't include it, you can always add it separately. The next question is, when is my initial enrollment period? So you have seven months of an enrollment period, three months before your birth month, then your birth month, and then three months after. That is your initial enrollment period. What do I do if I still wanna work past 65? And that's definitely an option. Just make sure you look at your employer's coverage benefits through health insurance, and also compare them next to the Medicare options. You wanna make sure that you have the prescription Part D coverage with your employer or with your Medicare Part D so you avoid that penalty of the late enrollment. I wanna 
gonna go over some Medicare tips with you. So the first one is going to be to get signed up for Medicare Parts A and B, you're going to contact your local Social Security office. The second one, before you turn 65, contact an agent and they can help you start going through the options before you even get to that point. And the third one is going to be to find a local agent that you trust. I always tell people, I'm here for you to do the work for you. If you have any questions, call me anytime. Doesn't matter the question, just give us a call. And the last one is just know your plan. So a lot of, of the plans have extra benefits included with them. And to take full advantage of them, you wanna make sure that you are fully comfortable with your plan and what it all has to offer. Medicare has a lot of options. Make sure you find an agent that you trust and that can help you go through all the plan options to get the right plan for you.